welcome to Sarah Stamping Retreat. Today I'm going to be creating a removable bauble card. I'm going to be using these really cute products that I bought from Alex Siberia Design. So I've got this Pretty Rose die set, large Merry Christmas hot foil plate and you can get a die set to go with this separately as well. And I've got this Falling Snow stencil as well. So we're going to be using all of those. So I'm going to make a gatefold card. So I've got an 11 and a half by five and three quarter inch piece of cardstock. So I'm going to score at two and seven eighths. And then I'm going to turn it round and I'm going to score at two and seven eighths again. So it's just that marker just under the three inch mark. And the reason I'm not doing it six inches is because I'm using A4 paper which is like 11 and 3 quarter inches. So I just find it easier to do it kind of just under six inches and not have to buy the 12 inch cardstock. I'm folding those over so that that meets in the middle. And then I'm going to put some sticky ink on a scrap piece of cardstock. And that's because I want to use this falling snow stencil, but I want to heat emboss it with gold embossing powder. So I'm going to pop that on my card and I've got it closed so that it goes across the two pieces and that they'll meet in the middle and then I'm just going to use my smoothie blending tool and I'm just going to put some ink through that stencil so then I've got my gold super fine embossing powder it's polished gold super fine from wow I'm going to pour that all over And we've got this pretty pattern to it. So then we're going to move on to the bauble, which is going to be detachable and also the main focus of our card. So I'm going to use this large Merry Christmas hot foil plate. And I'm going to hot foil it on in gold onto this navy. So I'm going to put, cut a piece of gold foil to fit my Merry Christmas. And you want to trim it around the hot foil plate a bit so that you don't get any over foiling. And then I'm going to secure it onto my cardstock. So then I've got my glimmer machine, which you can see I've heated up. So when you turn it on, you have to wait until this green light comes on before you can use it. And then I'm going to put this upside down on here. I'm going to press the timer and we're going to wait until that timer button goes to solid green. And then I will know that I can put it through my die cutting machine. So now that this is heated up, we can put it through my die cutting machine. So what I'm going to do is add these two plates that come with your glimmer machine and I'm going to put this through my die cutting machine. I don't need any of the normal die cutting plates. These are the only things. So this whole thing, including the hot plate, is going to go through my die cutting machine. So now we've got this and we can move the plate. And then how beautiful is that? To be honest, I think you could actually just have that as a uh, Christmas card with a few gems and it would look really beautiful. So then I want to cut this out with this layering circle die. And that is roughly four and a half inches. So then I've cut four white and one gold circle that's a size bigger than our, so it's about a quarter of an inch bigger than our navy circle. I'm gonna glue those all together. You can see I've used kind of oddments of card, so you're not going to really see these. So I've glued those two together, and then I want to add in my ribbon. So I've just got some navy ribbon here that I'm going to put in here to be a hanger. And I'm just going to put a bit of double-sided tape there to attach it to. So then I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to put another piece of tape on top of that side and I'm going to fold over the ribbon and then I'm going to add this on top of that and then I can continue stacking up our circles. The other thing that's worth noting here is that 
if you want your ornament to look pretty from the back as well like if it's going to be swinging around on the tree then you want, might want to use navy cardstock in the middle and you might want to build these layers up on the back as well as on the front I'm just going to do mine on the front so then I'm going to add my gold layer to cover up that white and then I'm going to add my Merry Christmas on and obviously when you add your Merry Christmas it's really important to make sure that this hanger is at the top and then I'm going to pop that on there so then I've cut these bows from the Pretty Bows die set and I'm going to pop those at the top here and then I'm going to add this Fashion Gold Gem from Spellbinders in the middle, just to finish that off nicely. So we've got this really pretty bauble from the tree. So then I want to create a wrap around my card. And I've got this piece of gold cardstock measures an inch wide. And this blue piece is about three quarters of an inch. And I'm going to lay the navy on top of the gold. Now you'll see the navy is slightly longer than the gold, that's because the navy is a four card stock which is 11 and 3 quarter inches and the gold is US card stock which I believe is 11 inches. So we've got a bit of overhang each end so I'm going to turn that over and I'm just bending that round because I want it to meet this side. You'll see that it doesn't look bad where it meets. And also that piece is going to be on the back anyway. I think probably if I were to do it again, then I would measure it out so that it is equal either side. But I'm not too worried because it's A, on the back of the card, and B, I don't think it looks terrible. So then I've got this piece. Because the navy only just fits around the card, I'm going to put a piece of this be behind it that it can stick to. And then we've got this belly band that can slide on and off our card. So then all I have left to do then is add this on the back. And I want to tuck this down behind the bauble when I put it on. So I'm going to use a removable, in fact I might use a couple of removable glue dots. And I'm going to put them onto the belly band. And then I'm going to tuck that behind there so that it doesn't show on the front of the card but it's still there for hanging up the bauble. So there we've got our card, really pretty card, and then obviously you've got that belly band that slides off so that you can see the message inside, and this will come off to go on the tree. So I really hope that you liked today's card. If you do, I'd appreciate you clicking like below, and you can also press subscribe if you'd like to see future videos. If you press the bell button and select all, then YouTube will also notify you when I've got a new video available. All of the products that I've used for today's card are listed in the description below, and there's also a link there to my blog where you can find a picture supply list if that helps you find what you're looking for. Thank you so much for joining me today, I hope to see you again soon.